The number one reason why people don't play craps is not because they never tried it. It's because that when they did, they got burned so bad, they lost a whole bunch of money. So this is the video for you. This is how to avoid the most common beginner mistakes. Now, let me be very clear. Everyone who has played craps starts out as a beginner and everyone has lost a whole bunch of money, myself included. Anyone that says otherwise is lying to you. So this is the mistakes that you need to avoid. I'm gonna show it to you right now. The biggest mistakes to avoid as a beginner, or just in general actually, is number one, staying on a strategy too long because, oh, it might hit next. The number one strategy in craps by far is the Iron Cross. Now the Iron Cross, if you don't know what it is, it's very simple. You basically put $10 on the pass line, you let the point get established, in this case it's a nine, then what you do is you're gonna place the five, six, and eight, make sure to cap them. So 12 and 12 on the six and eight. And then you put $10 in the field. And if you're getting real fancy, you put something in odds. If you do this, it looks like a cross, hence the name Iron Cross. The reason why people love it is because it's very easy to know and do and it kind of makes you feel good because every single number of the dice but seven or big red you win money so two three four five six eight nine and ten eleven and twelve sounds good it sounds like well that's a no-brainer most people go play craps because of the iron cross i was one of them it's like man every time the dice rolls i'm gonna win as long as a seven doesn't happen. Here's the problem. The seven comes every six rolls, mathematically speaking. So it has the highest probable chance of rolling. And if you roll a seven in this scenario, you're out 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, $64. Now, how do you win in this strategy? Well, you gotta hit six times just to break even. And even then, depending on what number you hit, you're losing money because of these caps. So you actually got to hit like eight times. Most people think that they're winning because they feel like they're winning, but the reality is, is they're just donating to the casino with this Iron Cross method. The Iron Cross, I hate it because it takes so long to actually make money. I love it because this is typically the strategy that gets people hooked in craps, but it's also the strategy that gets people to be afraid of craps. It didn't have to be that complicated. The other thing that people do that they need to avoid is they focus so much on a strategy known as the field bet. Now, the field bet looks like a good bet. It looks like every time the dice rolls, if any of these numbers hit, I win one to one, unless it's the two or the 12, because I get double, but it looks like a good bet. Here's why it's not a good bet. Because there's more chances to lose than there is to win. Let me explain. There's 36, every time you roll the dice, there's 36 ways numbers can fall. And of those 36, let's focus on these numbers. There's a one chance for a two to roll, two chances for a three, three chances for a four, Four chances for a nine, three chances for a 10, two chances for an 11, and one chance for a 12 in the combination of the dice. If we count those out, that's 16 chances to win. Now, what are the numbers that are missing? Well, the seven, obviously. Seven, I'm gonna put it right here. The seven is has six chances to come up. The eight, which is five chances. The six, which is also five chances. And the five, which has four chances. 
If you count this up, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 chances to lose. So though it seems like a good bet, if you're looking at it this way, it's actually not a good bet. Now, don't get me wrong, a lot of strategies use the field. I'm not saying never play the field. What I am saying is, is don't exclusively play the field because overall, it is a sucker's bet. Now, if you're using it in involving some other strategies to, to, to double down on a couple of numbers, it is an easy way to do that. But on the long run, the field bet is not a good bet. And I see a lot of beginners only playing the field. And I also see them not making any money in the long run. So that is the number one thing people do. They stay on a strategy and they don't switch. Here's why. Sometimes you gotta feel the table. What's awesome about craps is, is that it's a vibe. Sometimes it's a hot table. You can't even get somebody to roll big red. Six, five, all these numbers are hitting. Three, six, all these numbers are hitting. Six, see, I haven't even rolled big red yet. That's eight, six. If it's hot like this, look at all these. Five, I haven't even hit it yet. Eight, eight. Six, four, this type of table right here, five, all this, three. This is where you need to be playing different strategies. Boom, the seven. There were so many rolls there that people would have made money in different strategies. You gotta know when the table's hot. In that case, the table's hot. If you have a table that's cold, cold meaning that you place it down, you establish the point here. So let's get a point established. Oh, seven, uh oh. A six, there's my point. If the next roll becomes a seven, no, it wasn't, but let's just see, an eight. The next roll becomes a seven, then everybody loses. That's a cold table. You need to know when to switch your strategy for a cold table or a hot table. Don't just stay on one. Don't be married to one strategy. Do multiple strategies throughout the game that has the best chances to win. Lastly, and this is gonna be very controversial. One of the biggest mistakes that I see beginners make is they don't actually pocket their winnings. They do, most gurus will tell you to do this thing called pressing. They, they say press up, press up, and they keep on pressing. Pressing is basically stating that when I win on this number, I'm gonna take some of my winnings and double up the risk here. So in this case, I'm going to just do a line bet, no pass line. I'm going to get a point established real quick. Boom. The point is now an eight. I'm going to play this out. Okay. Boom. A nine hits. This nine pays $14. So instead of keeping this $14, they're going to tell the, the dealer, hey, press my nine. One, I'm going to go up. So now you're only pocketing four bucks and you're still at risk. So now I got four bucks here. Let's do it again. An eight. An eight also pays $14 here. This 12 pays 14. So I'm gonna say, hey, press my eight up. So in this case, I only get $2. So right now I'm at $6 in my pocket with at risk. Now, the theory behind it is good because in this theory, if an eight happens again, I get even more money. So in this 20, let's see, 24 bet right here, this would pay 28 bucks. So yeah, in theory it worked, but what happens if the seven hits? 10, 10 pays 18. So I'm gonna put, get my 18, 18 bucks here. And I'm gonna press the 10 all the way up, keep my $3. So I'm gonna put this now at 25. Now, you feel like you're doing something, but you only won this. Now look, seven happens. You lose all this. And you only have $9 to show for it. You got rid of this to make nine bucks. Now, there are strategies that pressing is okay. If you're dealing with house money, Press all day long, but if you're gambling your money, I don't ever press. Ever, ever, ever press. 
Those are the biggest mistakes to avoid. Pressing is fake winning. I want to keep the money. Now, again, if you're a dealer or you're a guru of craps and you don't like that, please, I'd love to debate you all the all day long. But if I'm dealing with my own money, my goal is to get my money off the table as quick as possible into my pocket and only deal with house money. How do I do that? Simple. My favorite strategy is the 135 across. I'm gonna show you right now how that is. And this is my suggestion to any beginner out there that wants to learn. Now, is it high risk? Yes, you're risking 135 bucks. So this is what it's gonna be. I'm gonna do it live right here. Boom, point is now a four. I'm gonna ask the dealer to give me 135 across. That's 25 on every number up here. And then I'm capping the six and the eight. That's 35. If you're gonna get fancy, you could buy the 10, but I'm not, I'm not gonna do that right now just for video's sake. Right now, I got 135 at risk. All I need to do is hit two numbers and I'm in the money no matter what. Let me show you. Now, boom, a nine hits. That nine pays 35 bucks. That's one hit. Let's do it one more time. A five, five hits. That's $35. Now, at this point, I'm taking all my money down and I'm handing the dealer $55 and saying, give me 54 across. So that's 10 on every number plus two for the six and the eight. And they're gonna hand me a dollar in change. What did that do? Well, here's my 125. Here's my $135 that was at risk before. Here's my guaranteed winnings from that. No matter what happens, I have $16 that I could put in my pocket. Now, some would say, oh, Mark, you risked $135 for only making 16. Yeah, but here's the thing. Now it doesn't matter what happened. Now, if you wanted to listen to the gurus and press one, keep one, you can do that. Because right now you have no risk anymore. All your risk is gone. So now you let it ride. Three doesn't matter. Five. This five pays $14. So in this case, yeah, press, keep the four bucks. You're still in the money. Roll it again. That's a six. So that pays $14. So that six is here. So I'm gonna press it up. And I get to keep the two bucks. I'm still in the money. The five, now I pressed once, now I'm gonna keep. So guess what? That 14, remember that 14 winnings? I doubled it up, because now this 20 bucks pays $28. So I'm gonna take 25, 26, 27, 28. Pressing is okay if you're not gambling your money. So now I'm gonna keep that one. Then on the next one, I'm gonna press it again. Boom, the two doesn't matter. The six, here we go. We just made money here. So in this case, that's 28 bucks here. So here's 25 plus three is 28. I'm gonna keep that. On the next one, I'm going to press. A five, boom, that paid $28. Remember we already pressed it once. I'm gonna press it again. So I'm gonna take this down, I'm gonna take it up to 25 bucks, and I'm gonna keep the rest, and we still in the money here. Boom, four, the point was established, I don't care. Let's keep on going. An 11, we don't care. A 10, so this point goes over here, I'm gonna take this 10, move it over to the four, and let it ride, let's go. An eight, eight pays $14. I haven't taken anything from the eight. So I'm gonna keep two bucks and I'm gonna press this up. Here we go, let's roll it again. A nine, that pays $14. I haven't done anything with that either. So here's my four bucks, press that up. Eight. Boom, we just pressed, that pays $28. I'm keeping that money. Next one I'll press again. A nine, we just pressed, so guess what? That 28 bucks, I'm keeping. 
And right now, it doesn't matter because this is all house money. Nine pays $28. I'm going to press this up. Take that back. Boom, it's pressed. An eight. That pays $28. I'm going to press that up. I'm going to keep this. Put this down and keep it. Next one I'm pre I'm uh I'm keeping. A five. That pays $35. I'm keeping that. Next one I'm gonna press. Seven out. So now we lost this money, but because we pressed and kept the house's money, not my money, on that $135 risk. This is how much was at risk. Let me show you how we did on that particular shooter. On that shooter alone, that's $265, $68 on that one shooter because we didn't risk our own money. Now, that is the strategy that I like to do now, if it's a cold table, don't do that strategy. Do something else. There's so many strategies out there. You need to know as a beginner which one to switch to depending on how the shooters are shooting. So as a beginner, give it a chance and really focus on switching strategies based upon how the table's going. Those are the mistakes that I see. Those are the mistakes that I made. At the end of the day, just play craps. It's awesome, fun, and in my opinion, and statistically speaking, it's the best game in the casino. Take that money and win. Till the next time.